Welcome to the Indigenous Village here at COP15. This is our way of indigenizing the space. This structure in our language is called a Chaputuan. ILI is incredibly proud to host this village and continue this momentum, the momentum that is around the world of Indigenous-led conservation and stewardship, which is essential to engaging on the issues of climate change and biodiversity loss. The Indigenous Village has been a breath of fresh air. It's amazing to hear speakers from across the globe speaking their stories, their Indigenous language, holding their own ceremonies, just being able to connect and relate. A lot of people are starting to recognize that their stories match a lot of other people. Meeting all the other Indigenous peoples and local communities, it gives me more courage and more strength to come together as Indigenous peoples and continue to fight for our rights. Some of the impacts of Indigenous-led conservation and stewardship are not only lines on a map that result in these protected areas, but it's also a way for us to heal from the impacts of colonialism, to have our people on the land reconnecting, healing, and learning about culture and that importance of that relationship. What we do to the land, we do to ourselves. That is constantly being repeated in there, and it couldn't be more true. It makes me feel more hopeful just being surrounded by these people. Coming here to the Indigenous Village and, and being amongst my own people was, was healing, was uplifting, it was inspiring. It does feel like a movement and it's just incredible to be a part of that. It also really warmed my heart to see how many allies have been in this room. People who have come to see us in our house, in the place where we hold ceremony. Thank you, Chinishku Mitnan, from the bottom of my heart for being with us today.